Waiting is never easy. It can be laboriously long, especially if we're waiting to receive some good news. David had to wait many years for the crown that God had promised him. He endured persistent persecution from King Saul for much of that time until he was eventually anointed as king. The Apostle Paul, called by God to be a missionary to the Gentiles, had to wait a number of years before he began his missionary journeys, spending some of the intervening years in obscurity in Arabia and Damascus. The expression, wait for the Lord, are common words in the Bible, especially in the Psalms. They reflect the fact that God does not always act as quickly as we would like. We read from Psalm 40, 1 to 3, it says these words. I waited patiently for the Lord. He turned to me and heard my cry. He lifted me out of the slimy pit, out of the mud and the mire. He set my feet on a rock and gave me a firm place to stand. He put a new song in my mouth, a hymn of praise to our God. Many will see and fear and put their trust in the Lord. At Candlemas, we see two characters, Simeon and Anna, who waited a long time to see God's promises fulfilled. Simeon and Anna waited to see the, the promise of God fulfilled. Consider for a moment the excitement and the joy that Simeon and Anna felt when they realized that the child in their midst was indeed the Messiah. Put yourself in their position, waiting all these years, and then suddenly into your, in your midst, there in the temple, is Mary and Joseph and the child Jesus, the one that Israel has been waiting for, the long and promised Messiah. It was revealed to him that he would not see death until he had seen the Lord's Messiah. Let us listen to the Nunc Dimittis or Canticle of Simeon. <laughs> 